All right, well, we'll get started. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is our third week of Smoothie Sisters. And really, I can't even believe we're in week three already. Here, we'll move this over for you. Yeah, and today's a special edition um, because it's Earth Day. So Earth Day started in 1970, 50 years ago. Um, my Nana, she always says when it's someone's birthday, she's like, well, happy birthday, but every day is a birthday. And that's really how we feel about Earth Day. Every day is Earth Day. You should always be taking care of your Earth. Right, Hayden? Yeah. There's some things you can do. Trash. Clean up trash. Yeah. All right, perfect. So we challenge each one of you to think about a way that you guys can give back to the earth, whether it be getting rid of uh, single-use plastic, going in your garden and planting something, uh, taking your a bike ride or a walk instead of getting in the car, which nowadays seems like that's what most of us are doing, and just to pick up trash and keep your oceans clean. So we'll keep that in mind as we uh, as we're making our smoothie today. That has coffee in it. So I wanted just to give you a, a quick background of our story and really how we got to being here and how Smoothie Sisters uh, got started. Uh, but essentially, Miriam and I had been wanting to open up a healthy fast food joint for over a decade. And finally, in the summer of last year, I left the beer business after 14 years, and it was a perfect time to make our dream a reality. So in March of this year, we finally opened, and I'm sure you can see where the story is going. Uh, just a few weeks later, we had to close due to COVID. And I know many people are in the same boat that we are, but really our mission is really important, and we didn't want to let that stop us. So we want to bring that healthy alternative to fast food, to our community. And what's so awesome about doing these on Zoom and doing them with all of you is that, as you could see from the beginning, we are located all over, not just the country, but the world. So we're able to bring this healthy nutrient and bring a little bit of fun to it, really to people from all over. So it's very exciting for us and we appreciate so much that you're here. And we're happy to offer this as a, as a free segment. Um, a couple people have asked us how they can help out. So we did send up a, a PayPal and a Venmo. It's at Ginger N Juice Bar. And any of the funds raised from that will just go back into us opening after the pandemic has settled down just a little bit. So, and Miriam will go ahead and put the links for that uh, in the chat as well. And speaking lastly of the chat before we get started, is if you have any questions throughout this, please just write your questions in the chat or if you just want to say hi to me or my assistant. Actually, I didn't even introduce you. What's your name? Why don't you tell everyone what your name is? My name is Hayden. Hayden, this is Hayden. So if you have any questions for either of us or would just like to say hello, please put those in the chat and we will try to get those to you uh, during while we're on tonight. And if we don't, when I send the recipe after the class is over, we'll go ahead and address anything in there to make sure that all of your questions were answered. So with that being said, I think we're about to get started. What do you think, Hayden? Yes. yes? All right, perfect. Thank you for assistance. So my inspiration for today's smoothie really comes from a whole bunch of places. I know we talked about Earth Day, so that is one of them. Also to try to shop local as much as possible. And my love for coffee, I am married to a Cuban, so I moved to Miami, not a coffee lover, and now I really don't like going through a day without the taste of it. And uh, lastly, I do have a sweet tooth. So all of those things combined, I put together a recipe for you guys today. It's called the Almost Americano, and you'll see why. All right. So to get started, we pour it in the milk, right? So I always put in the liquids first. When you start with the frozen, they tend to get tied up in the blender and it makes it hard to just get everything going. So I always start with the liquid first and then we top that with all the frozen and, and fresh goods. So for this recipe, if you are following along, we are going to start with half a cup of coconut milk. So Hayden, if you wanna put that in the blender. <laughs> Be careful not to spill. And, and really, if you don't have coconut milk, especially now, I send the recipe out the day before, and it's not like before we could just run next door to go to the grocery store. 
we're trying to conserve what we have for a couple of weeks. So a lot of the things that we go through during the class, you can really substitute out different things, whether you don't have them and you want to use something you do have, or also you might not like or might be allergic to a certain ingredient. So for this one, we always try to keep our smoothies vegan. So you can use uh, an oat milk, you could use a hemp milk, almond, cashew, there's a plethora of different milks you can use. And they'll all make the smoothie taste just a little bit differently. Uh, but that variety really just will make the smoothie uh, perfectly well-rounded and, and it won't matter. Okay. All right, so the next thing, the second thing we're going to put in is we're going to put in tahini. So this is what we're going to put in for our second ingredient. I'm going to pour that in. I'm going to pour this in. So tahini, uh, again, you know, I talked a little bit about substitution. So what is tahini? Tahini is essentially just ground sesame seeds. Kind of like peanut butter. <laughs> it is. It's kind of like peanut butter. It has that same consistency as like a peanut or an almond butter. So really, you can easily substitute that out. Uh, the reason that I chose tahini is it has a lot of healthy fats. And um, tahini, really, that's where my almost Americano, usually when you hear about tahini, uh, you think of a, a Mediterranean dish. Um, but really, the, the healthy fats is one of the reasons that I, that I chose this. And it also has a lot of um, uh, monounsaturated fats, which is really good fatty acid. So, and the last thing, too, I did want to know is this is an immune booster. And I know right now, more than ever, we're trying to keep our immune systems healthy stay away from COVID. So we are going to be adding uh, just a fourth a cup of the uh, of the tahini in. And again, if you want, you can feel free to use almond butter, you can use peanut butter, any of those will work just fine. And I, my assistant ran away from me here. We're going to get that right in there. Let's see what our next thing is. Next we've got... Aiden, come back! You're so cute! <laughs> Next we have one frozen banana. And you will notice that I put banana in a lot of my smoothies. Uh, banana is just a really nice base. Bananas are great because they keep you full and it's a great source of energy because it's not going to give you uh, a lot of fat. It's not going to give you any cholesterol. Um, and really, the, the bananas also have potassium, which is really good for your heart. It has manganese in it, which is great for your skin. It's great for your bones. I know I saw my esthetician is on, and I texted her a couple days ago. I was like, I miss you so much. So I got to be having a lot of things that help my skin while, uh, while we're doing this. So Hayden's going to put in one frozen banana. Go ahead and put that in. And if you've, uh, if you've seen one of my episodes before, you know, we always buy extra bananas in this house, um, and we do that on purpose. That way, as they're starting to get a little bit brown, we'll go ahead and usually cut those in fourths or a half. Keep, make sure that you do peel those before you freeze them, and then keep them in the freezer. And anytime we're like, oh, what do you want for a snack, or what should we have for lunch? We always have ingredients to make a smoothie. All right, so let's see what's next, Aiden. We have spinach. And I like spinach. You do like spinach. Now, she did not used to like spinach. So the thing that I like to teach my kids, and for anyone here that has kids, spinach is a great addition to smoothies. And you because can't even taste anything. You can't taste. You can't taste the spinach. You can't smell the spinach. It really just adds a bunch of nutrients in it. It also has manganese, so that you, it's very good for your skin and your bones. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing about spinach is it has a lot of vitamin K. Vitamin K is great for your bones. It's very hard to find another vegetable that has more vitamin K than spinach. So this is really an all-time favorite. Um, I would say 98% of the time we use frozen spinach because when you go to the store, you're usually buying a lot of spinach or if you grow it in your yard, you're usually getting a lot of fresh spinach at the same time. So we'll just go ahead and put that in a freezer type bag. Make sure to get rid of all the air to prevent freezer burn. And it stays in the freezer without really losing any nutrients for about six months. So it's a great way to make sure that you're not wasting um, any food. And then again, just to always have that on hand. All right, Hayden's gonna go ahead and put that in. 
And really, there's no set amount of spinach. Um, I usually just grab kind of like a big handful from the freezer. You can put as much or as little as you want, so there's no really measurement um, to that piece of the recipe. All right, and Hayden's making sure to get all those, all that vitamin K in there, right? All right, perfect. Let's see, what is next here? All right, the next thing here, we're gonna be adding in our dates. Yes, so dates are great. Dates are, um, they have low glycemic impact. Um, they're really good to balance your blood sugar. Um, so they're really good if you're a diabetic. And dates have a lot of antioxidants. The other thing is that dates have been known to be a brain booster. So I guess it's a no brainer that we want some dates in our smoothie, right? For those of you, well, I know my dad's on right now. I get this from him. So I definitely, uh, I'm the dad joker in the house. So we're gonna put two dates in. All right, go ahead and throw those in. They are a little bit sticky. You're gonna wash, she's gonna go wash her hands. And you know what, I can't even believe this. I almost missed over such a key ingredient here, which was my love for coffee. Um, I almost skipped over this liquid. But uh, we're gonna be putting in one shot of espresso. We're actually using a local espresso today, Perla Coffee. Uh, they're right down the street from the juice bar in Coral Gables. And they're the only coffee that we use at the bar and we buy that at home too. They also are doing a special coffee release um, to give back to people who are affected from COVID. And uh, so we're pouring one shot of espresso, which is usually about two ounces or so of coffee. Okay, Hayden thinks I should pour it in. The other thing to know on coffee, if you are able to, it's much better to buy the whole bean versus already ground up. You're just gonna get more of a complex flavor. And also it's just a lot more fresh than getting the ground coffee. Again, if you don't have a way to grind it and your coffee machine doesn't do that and you don't have a grinder, ground coffee is perfectly fine. It is coffee, it's great. So we're gonna go ahead and pour in uh, one shot there. All right. It's turning a little brown. It's turning a little brown, yes it is. And then what do we have next? Now we've got our flaxseed. I'm gonna pour this in, so how much flaxseed? We've got, we're doing one tablespoon of flaxseed. This is honestly optional. I usually put flaxseed or chia seeds in most of my uh, smoothies to just offer a nice additional amount of protein. And flaxseed is just, again, really good for your skin. Uh, and there's just a lot of, uh, a lot of good ingredients in, uh, in flaxseed. So we're gonna go ahead and put one tablespoon of that. Sure. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, and now we, uh, we haven't put too many frozen ingredients. We had a lot of liquid, and I really, going back to my sweet tooth, um, I really like my smoothies, especially if I'm going to have it after dinner, to be a little bit frothier, kind of like a milkshake. So I'm going to go ahead and put in one cup of ice. Um, I just I didn't get that ahead of time because I didn't want that to become water. So let me grab that. Yay, we're going to have water right. in our smoothie. We're going to have water in our smoothie, right. So we're going to stick one cup of ice in there. And let's see, lastly, we've got, the last thing we're going to go ahead and add is just some cinnamon. If you guys were with me last week, uh, cinnamon is awesome because, I, I mean, I love cinnamon because it tastes like it's sugar and you get that really nice aroma, but really it's not adding anything but, but the spice. I, and I don't just use it for smoothies. I actually made a really good stir fry a couple of days ago and I added some cinnamon to it. It just makes that dish very well-rounded. And um, this is honestly one of, my, one of my favorite spices to use. So really, you can put as much or as little as you want. We do a lot because you heard me, I've got a love for cinnamon. So just shake it, shake it, shake it. A lot of cinnamon. A lot of cinnamon. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's too much. All right, I think that's good. <laughs> All right, baby. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, blend this bad boy up. Before I do, it's going to get a little bit loud. I'm going to check the chat while that's going. And again, anything that I don't get to during the segment, I will make sure to answer all of that in the email when I send you the recipe. 
So for now, um, anyone that's doing this at home, usually most blenders have a smoothie button. So just go ahead and, and push that. And uh, if you don't have a smoothie button, then there'll probably be something that says, um, you know, uh, crushed ice, something like that. I would go ahead and use that button. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And uh, All right, while she holds that, I'm gonna check the chat. Let's see here. Tanya said she loves my assistant. So darn cute. Good to see you all. Hayden, you really are. Meredith and Amalia, hello. How are you both? Look at that big smile. They say hi to Hayden. My husband said coffee is the best. <laughs> He's the Cuban. Oh, and my dad, who's a professor of biochemistry, said that vitamin K is also very important for blood clotting. Um, no, I think that's that baby. Let's see. And then Diane, who's a nurse here at South Miami Hospital, she actually helped me deliver my children and help me afterwards, which is even more important. Uh, she said, give those vitamin K shots to newborn babies the first three hours of life. It's important. Look at this. I'm learning some stuff too. Thank you guys so much. Is your and Tanya, love freezing things. We don't like to waste. Diane loves my puns. Thank you. And uh, how many servings? So this really is, um, it, it's gonna be one 20 ounce serving. And um, it depends if you're having it for, it's okay, Jenny. If, you, if you're having it for dessert, you might wanna split it with you know two or three people. Or if you're having it for a meal replacement or a snack, you'll maybe want the whole thing. And uh, let's see what other stuff we've got here. Leslie, can't wait to try it. And I'm not sure who, Someone has uh, their name under iPad, so I'm not sure who that is. It says, looks delish. Uh, Eden, great job. And Kim, <laughs> I can't believe that Hayden loves spinach. And you wouldn't even believe that she is my, she's my picky eater. Ethan eats just about everything. So adding in like spinach or avocado or leafy greens, you can kind of teach them that, hey, this stuff, you really can't taste it. You can't smell it. And it's really just a way to get hidden uh, vegetables into your, uh, into their, um, into their little body. You just don't eat it that much. Okay. Um, and also, if you guys are following along, please share your, uh, your photos or your videos with us. Tag us at Ginger N Juice Bar. We would love to, to share those with our community as well. And, uh, and please also let people know if they'd like to sign up for our classes, just to send us an email and, you know, we'd be happy to add that. We want to continue to grow this uh, this community. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. We're going to take the top off. All right. Yeah. So again, just going back to, uh, to our earth and not just celebrating this on Earth Day. I really say this every class. So I'm sorry for those of you who have been on multiple times. Always use a reusable straw. Uh, I'm not a fan of the paper straws. They basically melt in your mouth. Um, but there's some other really good um, silicone oh, yeah. ones. The metal straws are really good. And that's, you know, there's so many different sizes and shapes and colors. It's, it's great. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna and I'm gonna try it. you're going to try it. Oops. Making a little bit of a mess. Come over oh, here. It's okay. Yeah. All right. Got a little bit of drippage here, which is okay. All right, you want to be the first one to try that, Hayden? It's on my foot. <laughs> it's on your foot. All right, I'll try it for you. Mmm, it's so good. Such a nice little shake uh, for after our dinner. For those of you who are trying it at home, I hope you really love this. I'm in my turn. Mm. And then um, my sister Miriam is going to host our next episode, which is Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern. She has a very unique and special treat um, with the recipe that she created. So I really encourage all of you to, uh, to tune into that. And I will be sending out the full recipe after the class is over and anything else that I missed. And again, we'll put the, the links for the donation for anyone who's interested to do that. And I think that's just about it. Did we miss anything, Hayden? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. All right. Well, let's say let's uh, say hello to uh, to everyone and 
We think can I just say, so can I just say Aiden? I can see, I uh, oh, the Rossman joining. Hi, May, how are you? Nikki, hi. Hi. Oh, there's a Maria, how's it going? And Steph, how are you? Thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, careful, and Susan. Hayden, can I just say you're a great assistant. You did such a good job. You're so professional. <laughs> and I Thank love your dedication you. to healthy food. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so. Thank you so much. We appreciate everyone who would join. And next Wednesday, we actually have a special uh, guest speaker, Tanya. She is the author of um, Cookie Dough in the Dark. And she's going to talk a little bit about the uh, sweet tooth cravings, which of course I need to tune in for that. And uh, she <laughs> yes. was, it's really amazing. She was actually our first customer. Mark doesn't count. My husband doesn't count. So our first real customer that she had been visiting from Canada and she came in and it was like, it was like it was meant to be. So we built this relationship off of that and we still stay in touch and we uh, were just so excited to have her on next Wednesday. She'll be going through a special smoothie recipe with each of you and also talking a little bit about her book. So we hope that you guys will tune in for that as well. So thank you again. We loved having everyone. Bye. Thanks. Okay. That was awesome. Thank you so much. You guys much. were great. Hi, Hayden. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. <laughs> hi, Sophia. <laughs> he was like, hi, Hayden. hi, Hayden. We love seeing all the kids on. Hi. Starting them off healthy. I love it. Is your real uh, name Ginger and Juice Bar? <laughs> well, thank you guys again. We'll see you soon. Thank, thank you. you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. bye. bye.